Hey guys, this is Andrew from Stock Money Lizards and today we're going to be talking about triangles because this is a chart pattern I'm starting to notice on a micro scale and how chart patterns like this can normally lead to the upside which is a good thing and then again it is a bit of a controversial price prediction that I'm going to go into today however it's quite a fun one too let's try to keep it fun as always so so yeah, today let's just have a look at these two in particular. A descending triangle is when price falls down, it reaches a low, bounces, comes back down, meets that low, bounces and keeps on repeating this pattern until then it breaks down. On the opposite and flip end, an ascending triangle does quite the opposite. It goes up, it meets this price, comes back down, goes up, meets that same price, comes back down, now it's important that on the baseline or the vertical line on either end, the price is more or less the same and touches at least three times. On the sloping side, it's important that you have at least two touches. Let's just go into some past history of Bitcoin so we can have a look. From January 2018 until November of 2018, BTC went down 46%, printed a low at 5,300, this is Euro, went back up for a nice bounce, came back down to 5.3, made another bounce, found another base at 5.3, went back up, went back down, and then fell down. Now the cool thing about triangles is that to get a good estimate as to where you can see price bouncing you can just take the height of the triangle which in this case is 46 percent downwards and then what you can do is you can just print that 46 percent down and say okay cool if i feel like this is a downward triangle let me prepare at 46 percent lower so if you would have done that then you would have benefited from this and you would have gotten at somewhere at this price now when we did come down to these lows in 2018-19, what happened here was we had a bounce at 2.8k up to 3.6k, a nice consolidation back down to make a higher low to at 2.9k versus the 2.8, and then sort of we made a lower, sorry, a higher low at this level before then breaking out so we had one touch two touch three and we hung around at this level for a little bit and then we broke to the outside now if we take this this can be seen as an upward kind of triangle so i would go here take its base 31 percent ish i would go up here 31 percent and I would say, okay, cool. So if I bought here, because I, I benefited from the price coming down at 48%, and I bought here, and I'm watching this go up and down, I'm not really sure what to do with my price. Then what I would have done is, once I see that this upward triangle is forming, I would have said, okay, I'm going to take some profit from this at 33% higher over here. And 33% higher would have come in at this level. So upward triangles and downward triangles, as you can see, are quite useful. Now, I just want to talk about these triangles today because on the hourly, we seem to be forming a triangle. So we have one touch, two touch, three. You sort of want to get the body to touch. You don't really want the wick of the candle or the shadow. You have a low here of 23.7K. You have another low here of 24.2K. So we have the first touch and we have the second touch. I'm happy with that. And now what I'm also happy with is that at this level we were rejected and at this level we were rejected and we're coming back down. Now, I wouldn't mind coming back down on the short term to 24.5k, that's not a problem. And what could possibly happen is that this maybe trends down, hopefully finds a low at this level, makes a bounce and then we push up now the rate at which we push up is here six percent okay so at six percent 
I can think I think that we would hit about 26.4 26.5k which is doable I mean you know it has to break out 25k eventually now the time frame for this to happen is by Thursday so today is Tuesday we have two more days to see how this pattern play out this is why I'm I'm commenting on this video now because I want to see if it's going to hold up or not if it doesn't hold up then what we can expect is maybe something along these lines so just imagine you had the top of the line over here and you have the sloping over here if the triangle does break then we could possibly find support at these levels of 23.7k which ties into this level the reason why i think that sort of bitcoin can continue going up is mostly because if you zoom out you can see how we had this long run of negative Heikinashi candles we finally printed that nice doji candle to signal a possible reversal and this month we've had a really nice up up movement at our highs 29 percent and 21 percent where we are at the moment so if we just go back and we say okay another turning point was this candle in march of 2019 you know where it printed the doji one and then we had a nice upward moving candle printed on the haikenashi which went as high as 40% and close 21% higher so you know there's still room to make a move to the upside over here so I'm happy now if you were to zoom in on this candle then you can see that on the TD sequential which is the Tom the mark indicator which is an indicator we spoke about a few videos back and we explained more or less what it is about we were at about week two or week three and at that point we said okay we could probably see another five more weeks of upside five to six more weeks of upside until we get the sequential high which will come at the nine so we're currently five days have five days left to go on this candle which is the seventh week in a row of upside and momentum is showing that maybe we have three more weeks of upside at that point we could probably be slowing or we could take a moment to consolidate in that area and we'll keep track of it so if on the monthly we're going up if on the weekly we're looking good if the cmf is broken above zero and we spoke about the cmf a lot if we are forming an upward asymmetrical triangle to the upside with at least 26k the first the first target then for me at least there is no reason to believe that we should be going down lower for now so the final the final chart i wish to talk about is this so i was having a look at fibonacci and i've been wanting to talk about fibonacci but i haven't so far so Fibonacci is just a combination of numbers and patterns that comes out in everything around us. It's really interesting. I would go and Google Fibonacci numbers and they're often used in trading. So what I noticed, which was pretty cool, was that at the high, the Fibonacci number, the, this run, okay, this run of nine to 10 weeks, took us to a high that met the 61% mark. So now we're looking at the bear market. So the bear market, we went down, 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 and we touched the 61% mark here, okay, with the shadow. And then what happened was we corrected back down to in between the 23 and the 38 percent and we met the moving averages and we actually went below the 20 week moving average so in my last video i also said that i do believe that we need to go back down to the moving average 
if we are to replicate a move like this to the upside why because sort of we still need confirmation that this is this is a bull market and for me that would be finding support at the 20 week moving average like we did over here and then we made a nice run to the upside now maybe this is a good opportunity for us to hit that moving average so We went down, we hit the in-between of 23 and 38% and then sort of we started making our way upwards. So if we just flip this, okay, and we flip the Fibonacci, what happens? Basically, if this run, so I, 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 I'm looking at the bear market and the bear market more or less just went down very depressingly all the way to the bottom you know we had one bounce which was significant and then it was more or less all the way down to the bottom so now i'm thinking what if sort of the bear market will repeat but the bullish case for it will repeat so instead so as the price is moving up people are going to be expecting the a lot of drops in prices but in actual fact it's not going to be like that it's going to be the opposite of the bear market so what if this run that we are on now takes us to the 61% mark before we have a correction. Now, that's it's a bit ambitious, but basically what we're saying is that this price could take us up to about 39 to 41k USD. It's a tough ask for sure, but there is not much resistance between this level over here aside from this base okay of 28k so if imagine we go and we repeat this bear market cycle to the upside so we would go as per fibonacci this move down would be replicated by this move up to 39k and then from this move we would go down to this level of anywhere between 23 and 38% and then probably we'll find support at this level. Probably we'll go back down to about 23K and then see what happens after that. So this is just um, a Fibonacci level I'm looking at. At the end of the day, I'm not saying any of this is going to happen. I'm just trying to come up with um, possible scenarios so that I am more prepared for what can happen. Okay, so that basically completes the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is not financial advice. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.